VMware aprovechó el marco de su conferencia anual VMworld, celebrada en Las Vegas, para anunciar sus últimas propuestas tecnológicas ante 14.000 asistentes. Con Microsoft como nueva competencia, la compañía ha lanzado una iniciativa llamada Virtual Data Center Operating System. Con ello se refiere a un conjunto de tecnologías que incorporarán hardware al data center, incluyendo servidores, almacenamiento y computadores en red, para crear un fondo virtual de recursos donde ejecutar aplicaciones. Los primeros productos no se lanzarán hasta 2009 y algunos críticos han calificado este nuevo planteamiento de vago y demasiado confuso. Paul Marit, CEO de VMware, describe este nuevo sistema operativo para el centro de datos virtual. Una de las cosas que estamos escuchando de nuestros clientes es que quieren poder utilizar sus recursos de computación in fundamentally more efficient and flexible ways going forward. They have to do more with less. And uh, the way a lot of our customers articulate that to us is they want to become more cloud-like in their internal operations. In other words, if you think of that at, at a very high level, they want to think of all their computing resources as a single giant computer that they can centrally manage in which they can very flexibly and rapidly provision different kinds of application loads on top of them. Okay. Uh, so the kind of ideal state that they would like to get to is, is there an internal customer comes to them and says, look, I'd like this kind of application, and they say, okay, fine. Uh, what level of quality of service do you want? How many users? What kind of response times do you want? Mm -hmm. And when do you want it by? Okay. And uh, they then turn around and say, okay, if you want it by, you know, tomorrow afternoon with this number of users and that level of latency, this is how much Mr. Internal Customer is going to cost you. <laughs> okay. And the virtual data center operating system is about delivering that vision and doing it with existing applications. Okay. Because unlike external clouds, like what Microsoft and Google and Amazon and others are building out, mm -hmm. uh, IT customers don't have the luxury of rewriting all their applications. Right. Uh, so the only way you can really get to that vision is by dramatically increased use of virtualization. La virtualización está aumentando la presión sobre los modelos de licencias de software tradicionales, resentidos desde la llegada de las CPU multinúcleo. Mariz opina que deben introducirse nuevos modelos de licencias, posiblemente basados en el número de máquinas virtuales utilizadas por un cliente. It's clearly going to have to change. Uh, uh, and I think this is a challenge for the whole industry uh, that uh, a lot of us, quite frankly, VMware itself price their software on a per physical CPU basis. And as physical CPUs become increasingly fungible, uh, we're going to have to go to other metrics uh, of uh, addressing scalability and licensing our software. So I think it's a challenge for the industry that we collectively need to work through. Por ahora el software de VMware solo es capaz de gestionar servidores x86, aunque algunos se preguntan si emplearán esta capacidad a los servidores mainframe y de gama media en el futuro. It is something we have thought about um, and at this point in time uh, we're doing that through our management partners rather than through the virtualization layer itself. Uh, we think that most companies and vendors are actually working on a migration path to migrate those loads to x86 based machines because simply because that's where the price performance is sure. uh, on a going forward basis um, so it's something we continue to look at but basically right now we're focused on the x86 world mm -hmm. se adaptarán una nueva arquitectura de hardware mariza aseguró que es posible que empezarán por procesadores del tipo ARM con los que VMware podría ampliar su estrategia de virtualización a dispositivos como el iPhone. Actually, paradoxically, we think that that it's actually the very low end that will initially cause us to go uh, off the x86 architecture. So, if we look at some of these mobile devices and things like that, where they're uh, using other processes, that that might be the first place that we start that. Uh,